Hello everybody and welcome to some mega modded Gungeon. Let's jump on in, roll it forward and see what's what of the what. See what's what, see what's what, see what's what. And just today, no never named, just just me. And we're just going to have a chilled run. I've, I've unfortunately not managed to get never named out of my basement for another recording session. He's, he's still held up in there. But next time, let's hope. Anyways... Let's see what we got here. We got the wheel lock. Um, one never named items. A classic precursor to the flint lock. Ooh, interesting. And then we've got the depth meter. Get a passive delivery at the first room every floor. Intriguing. I don't know what that means, and I'm assuming it hasn't triggered on this level because we started with it. But that sounds good i don't know what it means by passive delivery does it mean a passive item or we don't have to actively do anything we just get it also this seems pretty good it seems like a, a higher damage what's it's called what's its name do you know what i'll take some curse why not also where's my um where's my stats hood gone there you go um i'll i'll, I'll leave that for now that was kind of weird so i just i was just like where's my stats hood and i've just been playing minecraft so i accidentally pressed t to talk in chat and ask someone, which is dumb because I'm not playing with anyone and I'm not on Minecraft anymore. But it turns out T is the key to turn on the um, the hood anyways, so it all worked out. My, my absolute dumbness just ended up working out for me. But yeah, I've just been building an Elytra course on the, uh, the Minecraft server for my Discord. It's been pretty fun. It's nice having a good, good old community Minecraft server. I've been wanting one for a long time and... Um, I mean, I did start one in the past, but it kind of fell apart pretty quickly. But this one seems to be going pretty strong. Ah, I just noticed this thing has very low ammo. Um, yeah, this one seems to be going pretty strong. And everyone's living in, like, the same village and everything. And we've managed to build up quite a nice little thing. I've, I've sort of not really made any buildings as such. I've just made one of the caves into, like, a big old lush cave and, like... Uh, designed it around that and it looks really nice. Never Named has made this sort of big sprawling sort of wooden kind of medieval style walkway along with a sprawling house and then like a big iron farm behind it. Pedrov, the creator of um, the Ipecac mod is on there too and he's created like a observatory uh, for the Cartographer Society. Um, and yeah, we've got loads of, loads of nice stuff all over the server. It's really, really good. Um, a lot, of, a lot of nice builds coming along very nicely. And then, like I said, the naturally spawning village in a valley, it just lends itself to look pretty awesome. I've, I, the, the Elytra course that I made at the minute is admittedly very, very ugly. But I, mean, I just made it with amethyst blocks, but um, I'm going to beautify it later on. And, but anyways, I'm sure most of you aren't here for Minecraft. But at the same time, you are here. And honestly, I can kind of talk about whatever I want. <laughs> I say that like you're mad at me. I know that you're not, but like, I do find that kind of funny. Like, I mean, obviously people don't have to watch, but I'm just, you're just kind of, kind of at the whim of whatever's on my mind, <laughs> which I suppose is part of the charm, really. I guess if you're watching these videos, especially this, this long into the series, you're probably just here for some passive commentary and to see some modded items. Um, we got the vacuum gun. Ooh, this thing's pretty good if I remember correctly. Um, also, well, I, I wouldn't say it's very good, but I remember it being pretty interesting. Holy fuck. I mean, I found a secret room. Yeah, okay, so it's basically like negative knockback, but we've got to be a little careful. Oh my lord. Hit myself twice already. Unfortunately, absolutely garbage secret room. But we did get a 50 banger casing. The Chicago typewriter. I feel like I have to. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is another never named one. It seems like it would be. Um, no, it's not. Okay, interesting. Let's have a little look-see then. This gun seeks to silence radical views in the paper um, and on the streets to keep work the world pure. Reloading costs two ammo and fires a plane. Random special effect words will fire, uh, adding to their effect to the plane. Heat words. Okay, this is, this is pretty cool. This, is, this seems really, really good. I like the idea behind this. It's a... Uh, a very, like, sort of funny little pun on the Chicago typewriter. Ooh, and we get some angry bullets too. Hell yes. Um, and it's got good ammo. Like, I can... Ooh, and the paper's got a little animation too. I can imagine this thing being pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I like this a lot. 
This is this is probably my favorite gun from Knife to a Gunfight that I've found so far. And then it fires the little planes as well. Toxic. Cause you know that I'm toxic. Doom, 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 doom. I even think the firing sound for it's really nice. It's, it's not very punchy. It doesn't sound very like strong, but at the same time, it's meant to be like a little sort of SMG Tommy gun sort of thing. So I wouldn't expect it to be super, um, super heavy. Kind of works quite well, even if it is a little bit basic. I think it's quite nice. And it's a it's a mechanic that gets used by the the letter R or what's it what's it called the R gun what I can never remember what that thing's called but it's a it's a feature that's used by that gun and not really anything else. Ooh, if I remember correctly, I don't want this. I can never remember. I'm gonna pick it up anyways. I'm fairly sure it's one that you can't drop. But oh no no it is. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong one then. Um, trigger. Uh, Triggered by attempting to blank with no blanks. Okay, so basically we, we can blank without having blanks, which is decently good. Anyways, let's keep moving on. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the start of this run. This Chicago typewriter seems like a really unique and cool idea for a weapon. I'll definitely try and grab the sprite for that for the thumbnail. It's always a bit awkward trying to... Um... Oh, okay, we do just get passive items at the start of every floor. That's great. What a great item to start with. Um... Yeah, um... It's always a bit awkward trying to trying to get um, sprites for thumbnails because un for, unlike a lot of like other games like The Binding of Isaac, I can't just go into the mod folder and find all the sprites a lot of the time. Sometimes you can, but a lot of the time you can't. And unless the unless the person has an up-to-date wiki, which unfortunately a lot of the modders don't, which honestly isn't expected. That's nothing against the modders. I realize that making a wiki is kind of a big undertaking and to make a good one it is, it is a bit tedious. So I don't mind it when people don't have one. Uh, but if there isn't one, it becomes very difficult to grab sprites and I kind of have to message the people, hope they're online, hope they're able to reply and send it to me before the video goes out. And normally I don't remember I need it until right before I upload. So it's always a bit of a problem. I remember one game, um, that was a bit poo. Oh, really? 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 Uh, Orange Guanstone, you're gonna do this to me? Um, I remember one, um, one game in particular that I had a very, very hard time with when, um, this is also pretty good with uh, Angry Bullets, actually. Um, I had a very hard time with when I was making thumbnail for it and recording it was Dungreed. I know we haven't, like, been back to Dun Dungreed in a long time. That's a game that I only played for one series. That was a fun game, though. I think Dungreed, Dungreed has, has a lot of I wouldn't even call it potential, it is a good game. Like it's not even like it has potential to be a good game, it is a good game. Um But yeah, the wiki for that game, at least when I played it, considering how long the game had existed, was just shocking. <laughs> like, for a for a fully released paid game, it like it's not a requirement, but it really should have a decent wiki where you can get the sprites and stuff. Cause like I basically had to fudge a lot of my thumbnails where I had to like reuse the same sprites for items and stuff sometimes because literally there was like out of the hundreds of weapons and items the game had available there was like five <laughs> sprites on the uh, on the wiki there was there was very very few so it made it quite difficult and um, that is a game that i probably would go back to at some point i don't know if it's received any updates since i last played it because that was kind of in a in a weird time for roguelikes. I mean, there was a time where um, Dangerously Funny, a quite a big YouTuber, I think he's over a million subs now. I don't know, don't know exactly how much he was on during this time, but there was kind of a like roguelikes were already kind of coming into the space of being quite big and popular indie games. I mean, they've, they've always been reasonably popular since Binding of Isaac, but like they got a little more popular in recent years. And then like a few years ago, probably like two years ago now, Dangerously Funny started playing um, Undermine as well as a few others on his channel. And after that, I feel like a lot of people got exposed to the genre and started playing them. Like I'm pretty sure Dungreed was like two years old with not many players when he started playing it on his channel and it got a massive boost in popularity. I mean, it's the reason that I played it. Ooh, Table Tech Tear again. Uh, apparently, this is meant to have a really nice visual effect that just doesn't work for me currently, so I do apologize. I'll, uh, I'll grab the shackles, though. See what the... I already hit it. It's lowered my speed immensely. Grants armor, but slows the um, owner down. Losing armor speeds the owner up. I don't even have any armor. What? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm confused. 
Um, I can't drop it either, so that's fun. Anything that slows... Oh, God, this is... Ugh. This is awful. Oh, my God, this is... This is painful. I don't even get what it means. I don't have any armor. Like, does it mean another form of armor? Like, do I get, like, damage resistance or something? I, I really have no idea. Right, let's fight you. God, the speed's gonna end up getting you killed. Wait, is, is this actually Orange Guanstone, or is it a different one? No, it is. It just looks gold in this room, look. I'm not sure why, but yeah, it looks gold. I really like the uh, the effect with the with the plane that it fires on reload. I think that's a really nice effect. Ah, for fuck's sake! This speed is gonna get me killed. I I hate things that lower your speed in this game. In Binding of Isaac, they're bad enough, but at least there's like enough speed ups to compensate. In this game, you get speed down from a modded item and you're fucking screwed. You're at low speed for the rest of the run. It's just kind of depressing. It just It's one of those things where, like, the... What, what the hell? The, the default game, the vanilla game, oh my lord, doesn't have any items in the entire game that lower your movement speed that I can think of, at least. So having modded items that do it is just a bit iffy, in my opinion. I, I'm, I'm, like, as everyone knows that watches me play, play modded, I'm quite a purist when it comes to enjoying modded. Like, I like things to fit into the vanilla game. So that's one thing that I always get a bit, like, I won't say peeved about, but one thing that's always a little bit, um, annoying to see. I won't say annoying, but I, it's something that I'm not a fan of when, when mods kind of deviate to, like, they, they go against the rules of the game, sort of. Like, one of the things that's really minor, but something that I don't really like in The Binding of Isaac, is when you're on the chest, um, there is no rocks on any of the rooms. But some of the custom room mods add rocks, and it's not a big deal at all, like, it doesn't really matter, but it's just, like, it's kind of a rule that the game has set, and it's a good idea to follow those i think i know that obviously in modding there there is a certain amount of like going against what the game normally offers to to increase enjoyment like adding adding in new features the game wouldn't normally do um to oh god like 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 what bunny's done with um with with bullet hell like that's not something the game would normally do but it adds a lot to the game so there is a certain amount of sort of rule breaking so to say that that really works there's some things, in my opinion, that just don't. And yeah, this, this, I might actually just give myself some, um, oh my god. Just give myself some form of speed upgrade, because this is actually just pain. We're missing a chest. I think we're still missing one chest, aren't we? Get out of here. No, we're not. Oh, no, we are. We are. I don't know why I used this here, but it works. I forgot the Estus Flask makes you stop. I am not a Dark Souls boy. That's one stern. Gimme, gimme. Sponge, nice. Right. Um, what's a speed upgrade? There you go. Back to normal speed. I can't do it. I'm sorry, but it's just painful. It's just too painful. <laughs> But yeah, I gotta say, like, another thing I've just gotta sort of briefly mention is the channel. Ooh, Pocket Red Chest A tier. The channel's been doing great recently. I'm really happy. Uh, miniaturized version of the classic Red Chest. It depends as a clone of itself on use. It literally just gives me a Red Chest. Okay, that was pretty good. Um, kind of funny that I got a pa I got an item that gives you a passive item that gave me a chest that gave me a gun. 
Um, but yeah, the channel's been doing like really well recently, and it's, it's very nice. Like the Gungeon series has been kind of popping off a little more than usual. It's kind of weird how like for a long time Gungeon was always my main game, and I always expected it to stay my main game. And then with Repentance, the Binding of Isaac became my main game, and so the Gungeon kind of fell by the wayside, but, but was still good for like the modded content and stuff. Um, but even even Gungeon, I think a lot of I don't know how many of you watching this will, will agree with this. How many of you? would say that this is this is true for you. But I think a lot of people have kind of started watching my Binding of Isaac series, found me either early days when Rep the, Rep the Repentance series started, or just recently, and have seen my uploads, like subscribed, seen my uploads, and then seen me playing Into the Gungeon, especially with the mods, and going, ooh, didn't know Into the Gungeon had mods, or ooh, like someone playing Into the Gungeon, there's not many people doing that anymore, um, sort of thing and kind of migrate to this series. So, like, this series kind of went from getting, like, 150 views an episode, which, obviously, perfectly reasonable, pretty happy with. Now it's getting, like, three to 400. And then the Binding of Isaac series is getting, like, a 1,000 views a video sometimes now. Like, I wouldn't say it's constant, but, like, it's been pretty consistent, a 1,000 views a video or more. Like, I did the, um, the Andromeda showcase for a custom character. That video popped off. That got, that's got, like, four and a half K views right now. It's amazing it really really well i mean deservedly so as well like i'm not saying that um oh i, I put so much work into that video it was uh, I, it deserves all of these but what i more so mean is for one that character deserves to be seen and for two that run with that character deserves to be seen that was such a good showcase for a custom character i kind of should really do something similar with this with this game as well like a custom character showcase sort of thing. But Gilded Bullets... 91 for Gilded Bullets. A bit steep. Um, but yeah, I maybe should do something like that for this game. I don't know how... Because, like, the only thing that kind of stops me from doing it is... Compared to... Um, compared to Binding of Isaac, custom Gungeon characters rarely have unique enough mechanics to make the runs different like it's it's always fun to have custom characters but normally it's just they have a this they start with a different uh pistol or a different passive item and that's usually kind of it i mean if there's any out there that are like really exciting that, that are really a good change of pace then um we'll have to take a look but maybe if that's something people want to see it's a series that i could i could delve into a little more i mean it's one of those things as well where I know exactly I know I'm not exactly the most influential um, Gungeon YouTuber out there, um, or even in the modded scene. Um, I'd say Hux is probably going to be more so that, even though he's not done too many modded videos. But still, like if even if me doing a sort of character showcase thing could um, influence more people to go out there and create custom characters, even if it's just by seeing what's possible showcasing what's possible and getting other modders interested that could be a a good a good thing to do i suppose it's like i, I really there's, there's a few series out there that i've kind of started up and wanted to kind of do a little more of but it's not it's not really being high enough return for me to do so like one of them i'm sure you guys may remember it i did a few episodes of a series where i showcased like single um modded items with the, like what they do and their synergies i did it for like three or four of their never named items i really enjoyed making those and i put a ooh, i like this gun um i put a decent amount of effort into um into said videos i like i created custom um custom images and stuff for them and everything and i was i was really happy with them but unfortunately like there, there are a decent amount of editing and recording them takes a quite a while too because it's a lot of different, like, showing off all the synergies and, like, a lot of prep work and stuff like that. So, it just, unfortunately, didn't get enough views to really be worth my time. Maybe maybe down the line when I have more subscribers, it'll be something that's a bit more worth my time. It's, it's one of those things, I'm not really that bothered about, about views that I get on series like this. Because series like this, there's no part of this that I don't enjoy. I enjoy talking, I enjoy playing modded Gungeon, and I enjoy playing a full-length run. So... I, whether, whether people watch this or not, I'm getting enjoyment out of this always. But when it comes to a video like that, when it's like, yeah, it's, it's fun to be able to showcase the item, but the actual process of making that video isn't all that fun because 
I've got to spend ages uh, typing out console commands, spawning enemies in, spawning items in, like shooting, showing them off. Then I've got to do the commentary, which normally takes a few takes to get right, or I have to write a script, which is even more, like, even less fun. I don't like writing scripts. Um, and then on top of that, you got to edit, which I do actually like editing, but editing a video like that is kind of tedious, especially I was trying to get them under two minutes. So I had to be very careful about uh, my recordings to make sure that I didn't go over, as well as with my commentary. And then I had to edit and make sure I cut out any unnecessary time sinks, like any time I used the console, any time I like walked between rooms the way I wasn't doing anything. I had to cut all of that out. Um, and... Yeah, it just it just kind of it leads to a, a a lot a lot more work for a much shorter video that is a lot less fun to make. Um, which I'm not saying it's not fun to make; they are interesting, but they're all, a lot less fun than just playing a run of a game because it's just me playing the game. That's more content creation in the more I won't say generic sense, but in the more real sense. I'm not saying this isn't content, but you know what I mean. Um, so I think I think that's one of those things where it's like, I do want to do that, but... Ooh, the beast blood injection. Uh, I do want to do that, and I do, I do think it'd be cool, but I've got to sort of see some return on investment. And I don't mean monetary-wise. I don't really give a shit about how much money I make via YouTube, because I've got a full-time job that I get paid enough for. So I don't really mind. Uh, also, Bottle Rocket is very fun. Um, I love the sound effect too. Um, but yeah, uh, I I wanna I wanna see that like it's they're getting a good amount of views. Really, if I'm making a two-minute video, oh what the fuck is this? If I'm making a two-minute video that takes me to all in all in all, if it takes me like like an like, even if it takes me one hour to make for a two-minute video, that's still a huge amount of time lost on what could have been a normal episode that I just played a normal run and didn't have to edit on. Um, interesting. Um, yeah, uh, but normally, I, th I think I think I, I think I timed it. I think it took... Ooh, this is kind of interesting. Um, I think it took me, like, three hours to make the first one, then I tried to be a bit speedier, and I got it down to like an hour and 40 minutes, which I'm sure I could probably get it to under an hour, but even still, that's quite a big time investment to get only like 200 views. Like, it's, it's just not quite worth it. This is such a cool weapon, by the way. Um, it's just not quite worth it. Who's, who's this by? Hey, it's by Nevenant. Um, yeah, so if I can get to the point where I can... I can know that something like that's going to get like a thousand views, then I'll probably go back to doing more of those because I do think that for one, they are they are fairly fun to make and see all the synergies and stuff. Golden box, interesting. But more importantly, sir, um, I do like to put out videos out there to showcase m like modded stuff because it feels like when I was making the other ones, kind of another reason why I didn't, I didn't feel like continuing that series as much is they were getting like two, three hundred views, which was basically the same amount of viewers as my normal Gungeon episodes, which at that point, it means that it doesn't even matter because the only people that are seeing it are the people that already know what it does. Kind of the point really is to either reach a wider audience or show some of my other subscribers that maybe just watch Isaac that some of the modded stuff on Gungeon can be just as interesting. Um, yeah, and, and kind of reaching a wider audience is always a good way. And it's like, that, that's one thing that I find with YouTube's really, it's a really iffy game. It's like, I could go ahead and like post that on Reddit, but if you do it in even slightly the wrong way, everyone's just like, oh, self-promo, self-promo. It's like, well, yeah. Like, I have a video that I made that I think other people will enjoy that helps the community. But all people are going to think is, he's just going for clout, he just wants money and views. It's like, well... How else am I supposed to tell people that don't know about my channel about my channel? I think self-promo has just been given such a bad rap um, over the past, like, like 10 years, really, um, that you, you can't do any form of self-promo anywhere. And I think that's a shame, because I think there's a lot of content creators and a lot of people and, and videos, whether informative or, or not or whatever, that a lot of people would probably enjoy. And I know this sounds like I'm just saying like, oh, more people should watch my channel. I've got really good content. Ooh. I know that's got kind of sounds like, but more so what I'm trying to say is just like, there's a lot of people out there that have 
good videos that show off stuff like like modded content that are kind of would would spread would spread something like this to a wider community. But you can't post it because immediately everyone just jumps on you for self promo. And it's like why? Like I get that self promo can be annoying. But someone just posting a video and it appearing in your feed, and you can literally scroll right past it that just says, Hey guys, check out some of the Enter the Gungeon uh, mods. Here's a video I made showcasing some of them. Um, is I think it's fine. When people are like spamming, oh, click on my channel, click on my channel, or check out this video, check out this video, and spamming it everywhere, yeah, that's really annoying. But I, I do think that like self promo is a lot more okay than people make it out to be. Any little slightest inkling of self promo and you get fucking destroyed. So you have to let in, and it's kind of stupid as well because it's like, people still self promo all the time or all over like social media and Reddit and stuff, but now they just have to be way more coy about it and like pretend it's not their video or like word it in such a way that makes it sound like it's not self promo. It's like, just don't be dicks about people trying to promote something they made that they think you might enjoy. And it'll all be fine. Like, if you don't like it, just scroll past it. I mean, if it gets to the point where, like, dude, Orange Blonson, can you stop? If it gets to the point where, like, every. Ooh, Angry Soul is pretty good. Um, if it gets to the point where, like, you're in a Reddit and every other post is people self promoing, then yeah, I get it. That gets a little annoying. And I think, I think that's another thing as well. Like, it's. Another sort of thing that gives it a bad rap, and no offense to people out there that, that are making YouTube and just trying to make a start at it and just kind of figuring things out, but self-promo when it's not a good video, when like it's not good quality, makes it a lot worse. It makes it a lot a lot less, a lot more annoying to people, I think. If, if people are like putting out their video and it's like recorded in like 720p with a really shitty mic and they barely know how to play the game or they're not showing anything new or interesting, then that I can understand why people get annoyed at, especially like I said, if it's been spammed a lot. But I think it's if it's if it's something that genuinely you've put effort into and is good quality, that sort of thing, then I really do think that people should be allowed to do some level of, of self-promo as long as they're self-aware about it and like they understand that yeah, just, they can't post every single video they make if they make, like, daily content, that'd just be absurd. But if they, if they genuinely have, like, a unique idea or something, something that's gonna be interesting, I really do think that more places should be okay with it. Okay with sharing. I don't know. I, I, I've realised that I've been ranting about this for, like, way too long at this point, and, uh, it's gotten... It's gotten, um, <laughs> quite emotional. <laughs> but you know, you know what I mean, you know what I'm trying to say, I'm just... Just kind of trying to say that that's my thoughts. <laughs> and that, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I'm going to end up talking about it forever. This gun isn't so good for this situation, is it? How how does this fare? Because it, it can't knock back bosses, so I kind of imagine it's going to be pretty good. That was... I've been hit by, like, every boss so far. I'm not doing very well on this run today. Uh, to be fair though, I've not really gotten any amazing guns. Like, Bottle Rocket's fun, but it's not great. Typewriter's fun, but it's not really strong at this level. Just, I've not really got a boss killer, do I? Oh my god, am I gonna die to the kill killers? I don't have a blank, fuck. I might die to the kill killers here. I haven't done this attack in forever. I think, um, I think Angry Soul, oh. Terrible run. Uh, I think Angry Soul was firing the orange guanstone shots. Anyways, rant aside, there's there's the run. <laughs> Bit of a short one, but we got to see some cool stuff. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.